Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to a vlog. I'm having a day, okay? We're just gonna sit in the car and just chat before I have to go home. Ugh. I have to put my seatbelt on, even when I'm just sitting in the car. I feel like naked without it. I just left the car dealership, had to get my car serviced, no big deal. They're always like, okay, well, this is a 2019 car and you only have 13,000 miles on it. I'm like, yep, I don't go anywhere. So I got the new Campfire, it's called Campfire something. It's s'mores. Is it called Campfire s'mores? I don't know. It's their marshmallow ice cream. And then it has graham cracker and chocolate shavings and fudge. I really like that um, s'mores blizzard that I tried on here so I'm not sure about marshmallow ice cream but here we go and the chocolate covered cone waffle bowl I like more cone than ice cream so you get a small ice cream and a big old honk and waffle bowl that is delicious that is delicious I think that's just because woo what's that it's like a big graham cracker Mm-hmm, a big graham cracker in there. Well, that's delicious. Highly recommend. Campfire something, whatever this is, a cold stone. And you crunch the bowl. So I got my car serviced. Um, it's just been a day. It's been a couple days, to be honest. I have to reapply the lip balm in between eating. I mean, geez. I'm a lip balm addict. This morning... My dad lost the remote control in the living room. Of course, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Um, now, we have three televisions in the house. All of them have the same remote. Fortunately, the remotes work on all the TVs. However, before he lost the remote, he started, he was pushing all the buttons. So it all messed up the system. Because I don't know what you guys, but we have cable, cable TV, because he, he's got to have all those things. So, and it's a thing through, um, the utility service it's cable it's a home phone it's internet well he pushes all the things so the whole thing gets completely off so after I stopped looking for the remote because I wasn't going to find it crunch um then I had to reset the tv I had to unplug the tv the box it was just the whole thing and by the end I was kind of just crying a little because my god a big part of what I do for him every day is the television he can't get it on he messes he pushes all the ding buttons so i gotta reset it he can't find the channels he misplaces the remote which is why i feel like i'm in purgatory every day clean the floors do the laundry fix the tv <laughs> so anyway he's fine he's safe at home napping so I can take a little bit of a break to have my little lunch here. But in the last video I put up, I was talking about being stressed out about thinking about an antique mall booth. And I have let that go because talking to some friends like Jeffrey at Real Nifty Vintage, he once had like three booths, I think. And he's like, the profit margins just aren't great compared to what you can get online of course it depends on the location in the booth and what you have and all the things right it just depends but the time and effort it takes to maintain one first of all to set one up then maintain it um i, I just it's just not not gonna be for me and that's okay i am trying to take this week off from my books and i feel like it's just gotten me into more because now i have more time to fret and about other things when I should just be like trying to relax. Now this lady's parking next to me. Anyway, so I was just kind of fretting about that. <clears throat> so now I've let go of that. Then I've been trying, so I want to, there's so many businesses that I know about and things I want to do and I get myself overwhelmed trying to do them all. Like now I'm trying to create AI art that I can sell on Etsy. So I've been trying to learn that. 
to do digital downloads or maybe like print on demand and have canvases. I don't know, all the things. Again, down the rabbit hole and overwhelmed. Still trying to get things listed on eBay. And then I'll hit something like I can't figure out what it is. Like trying to identify glass or something. And I'll show it to Jeffrey or Misty. Like I'll do a Google image search and then I can't find, there's nothing there on it. So I'll show them and you know, if it's something, it'd be something, but okay, it's not something, but I think it could still sell and what do I do? And it takes, you know, forever to just list one stupid thing. <laughs> And yeah, so I've just been overwhelmed, anxious, depressed, stressed. I'm actually rather just get back to writing books and then I can keep myself busy doing that. Trying to take off time from writing the books. <laughs> like it's making my life worse. But hopefully I can catch up here on the bit of eBay stuff that I got a couple weekends ago and at least get that listed. And then I'll start on the next book. So I have gotten four books out, four Etsy books since January doing rapid release, which is what a lot of authors do, especially when they're starting out. I'm obviously not starting out, but I am trying to add to my catalog of books. So I'm doing this rapid release, trying to get a book out a month up until September. September, I will stop that and I will edit new editions for my eBay book and the um, Amazon book for the coming year. Um, and the way I'm doing it is that it used to be, if you've ever been in a writing class or school, you remember like they just tell you, just sit down and write, 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 write. Don't fix anything. Don't do anything. Just write, 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 write. And that's what I used to do. I would write, 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 and I'd get a first draft. And then I'd go back and start from the top and start adding, editing, blah, blah, blah. That was second draft. Then I'd have to go through third draft, make corrections. Oh, there's still more to edit. Oh, oh, need a fourth draft and maybe a fifth draft. Now, and, and, and that just, it takes forever. It's exhausting. And by the time you've looked at something four or five times, you don't even see it anymore. Every word on the page could be butt face. And I'd just be like, great, release it, whatever. What I'm now doing is slowing down. And I'm literally going paragraph by paragraph. And I make sure the paragraph is the way I want it before I move on. And then I have a first draft that's essentially done. Then my second draft is actually my final draft where I edit mistakes. Um, if I see anything needs to be added in, I'll do it. And then I run Grammarly through it. I do the word um, spelling grammar because sometimes they catch different things. And then I'm done. And then I'm done. So I'm, I'm going slower, but I finish earlier because there's not all these drafts. And there's not all these corrections that I need to make, you know? Also, I colored my hair and for some reason it has decided, well, you colored me, now we're gonna stand up. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, so that's why I'm able to get my books done faster now because I'm actually just going slower but only having two drafts, which is great. It'll help me get them out quicker, but then I'm like, have this week where I'm like, well, what do I do with myself? And then I have too many thoughts in my brain. So, oh, my ice cream, I forgot about it. It's melting everywhere. I should probably finish this. And then I'm gonna go to McDonald's, get Papa Frappe, and then head on home. So, it was good, highly recommend. Well, I made it home to a huge mess. All of Teddy's belly bands were in the wash. And so he peed in the house and then Charlie peed in the house. And my dad was all upset. Where have you been? <sighs> I finally got everything cleaned up, everything settled. And now I'm downstairs because I'm gonna put away the newest stuff I've listed on eBay and I had an order. So I'll wrap okay. that up. Okay, so got some Barbies listed, put them on the toy shelf. Kraft, well, it was Cheezosaurus Rex. That must have been when Kraft started making macaroni and cheese into their weird shapes. I don't know, that was after my childhood. 
We've got some glass. This is etched, crystal cut. It's like a relish pickle tray you could use. Or candy, do whatever you want with it. You can do whatever you want with it. I'm having trouble in the listings making the um, pink show up as pink as it is. This is another one. This is, I think this is Anchor Hawking. Again, it's what you'd call an olive relish pickle. Whatever. Stick whatever you want in there. Put paper clips in it. I don't know. Oh, we got another Barbie. This is a vintage 80s Ken doll. Open box, but he's still attached to the cardboard. And all the accessories are there. And what I'm doing now is um, if the listing has the buyer paying shipping, almost always I'm putting best offer. If I have free shipping, then I don't because um, then it just eats too much into the profits. But these are some coffee mugs uh, I got at the fill bag sale. Another one. I am a sucker for a good. Look at that. That is so 80s, um, the graphics. I'm a sucker for a mug in a box. That's an Inesco there. And I'm getting exercise marching back and forth. I put these all together in a set. This is Imperial, I think. So I've got a soup bowl, a mayonnaise bowl, and an extra creamer. I do have the sugar creamer set, but then this was an extra one. But like, you can use these for anything. I mean, it's cute in display, but you know, whatever. So I just put those together as a set. And then the item I sold is this Johnson Brothers, cute little Demitas. I think that's how you say it. Cup and saucer. Sold that for $9.99. The buyer did pay shipping on that. Um, so I'm gonna get that ready to go. Got all my packing materials and supplies. So I can't remember if I did first class or priority. I gotta take a look and then figure my box. Going by priority. So that means where are my where are my square boxes? Um, what did I do with my little, oh goodness, they're right in front of me. It's not square because it's flat. Good grief, <laughs> good grief. The seven by seven by six, it's the perfect mug box. Okay, so just had three Etsy orders come in all at the same time. That's so funny how it, sometimes it'll do that. Uh, so someone ordered two of the go away magnets. <laughs> Um, someone else ordered one of the trick or treat haunted house magnets. It's so funny to me how many Halloween stickers and magnets I'm selling. I mean, not funny because I love Halloween, but I think I've said before I could have just a Halloween shop. And then we have an order from Lori. She left me a little note on Etsy. Thank you so much. And she ordered the Halloween bat, um, cat. It's a cat bat. Yeah. Or a bat cat holographic sticker. And then she got two of the holographic strawberries. I love it. So thank you so much, Lori. Teddy. Well, we still have not found the remote control. And while the other remote control works for the volume, you can't change the channel uh, with it. And the TV doesn't have a manual button for changing the channel. So, I mean, watch CNN usually anyway, but I like to watch the NBC local news and NBC nightly news, but can't change the channel. So here we are. What is that toy? Is that your Easter ducky? These two have been wild. Here's my Charlie. Oh, hi. That's your bone. Here's the other problem. They have these bully sticks, which I get from BarkBox and they really like them, specifically the brand. My dad will take them away and like throw them away. It's like, well, it looks gross, but they're chewing on it. That's what it's supposed to be. And they're freaking expensive too. Like, don't throw them away. They're chewing on them, aren't you, Charlie? See, I really like this stick. It's a good stick and I'm chewing it. And I don't know where the other one went. Papa threw it away. Gotta put a note on the sticks. Don't throw away, even if gross. Charlie, Teddy, oh, Teddy, Teddy, you wild boy. Yeah, you wild boy. 
another Etsy order came in. They are just flying in. This one is from Joanne in Arizona. So Joanne, if you're watching, thank you so much. She got the last I Hate People black and white sticker. She got one of the waffle magnets. And let's see here. The vintage suitcases, the sticker. The Cupie Pumpkin Baby. Ah, it's so cute. Uh, one second one I've sold of these today. The Bat Cat or Cat Bat holographic sticker. The Clear Coffee Cup sticker. And no, the magnet. The Clear Coffee Cup magnet. And then Stack of Pancakes magnet. And I already got her freebies all packed up ready to put in there so thank you so much well now i'm downstairs because just had an ebay order someone ordered all of the liquid iv that i listed this was part of that liquidation so this they paid 60 dollars for these three bags and i did put free shipping on those um like i said a lot of time when you're doing health and beauty um, you have to see what the others, what the solds are. And if all of the solds are free shipping, you have to get free shipping. That's just how it is. Um, I'm going to put these in a box to make sure they are protected. Which box shall we use? Hmm. These are all going to the consignment store in the fall. And let's see. I'll keep any nice, clean box. This is a nice clean box and I'll wrap them up, put them, I'll probably just put them like in a poly bag um, to protect them. You want to protect your items, anything that, um, like, you know, anything that's paper, plush, clothes, you want to put it in a bag before it goes in the box because if the box gets wet, then this would get wet. And even though this is shiny and it would protect it, it's just another layer of protection. So I won't have to put too much packing material, but I still want to put enough so that when you shake the box around, these aren't moving around a lot. Um, so yeah, that was a nice uh, sale. Easy to list, easy to ship. One thing that's different now that I'm doing the shipping and not my dad is he hates these things, but I love them. I get them all the time when I get packages in. So why not reuse them? Like this is perfect. It'll keep um, that from rattling around and it's just reusing the packaging. So that is one thing that my dad would not do, but I definitely do. Okay, it is 1030 and I have one more Etsy order come in. So I'm gonna do that before going off to bed. So this order came in from Shelly. I believe it's how you pronounce it in Illinois. So if you're watching, thank you so much. Uh, she got one of the please just go away stickers one of the day of the dead um cat skeleton stickers the halloween window sticker one of the ceramic mixing bowls she got the pink one sticker and then she got two of the large five inch magnets she got crazy cat lady and also cat mom so these um, can go on fridges on cars um, so I made the bigger sizes because people like car magnets. So I'm going to get this out for tomorrow and that is going to be uh, this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me rant in the car. <laughs> um, if you like these vlogs, please give this one a thumbs up and of course check the links below the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.